Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Jesse and this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do object detection within 10 lines of code in Python. Yeah. So first things first, ideally you should have image AI installed in your Anaconda. Then if you don't know how to install image AI, check out our tutorial on how to install image AI and then you can come back to this video. So the first thing is to prepare your data. Uh, so I have prepared two in my I have a folder here from which I have put my images. Let me get here. So I put my images here. Let me visualize them like this. So I have three images. There is this one, this one, this one. <laughs> So I want to use yellow and then to detect which objects are in this what in each of these images. I'll share with you the source code so don't worry. Just get an understanding of the how about the code works and then you can do it, you can write your own code. So I'll share with you whatever I have here. So in case you have you don't understand anything just feel free to contact me so the first thing is to import from image ai those detection remember image ai is a library and then from the library we are calling the detection class and then from that detection class we are calling a module called object detection so and then the other thing is to import peel peel is python imaging library which will help us to visualize our image so after there, we create an instance for our class and then I'll call it detector and then it will be inheriting from the object detection module that I've imported here. And then the next thing is to set a model for this detector. So we write detector.setModel type as yellow 3 yeah. You can use any model you want, provided it is catered for in the image AI library. So the next thing is to save the model path. So I've stored my model in a folder called model, as you can see. I mean, there is yellow.h5. So yeah, put yellow.h5. So in case you are wondering where I got this, I'm going to share the link also for 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 this for, for these resources. So here is the image AI library, and then when you reach here, you get the docs how you can use this library, uh, the parameters you use, and then everything you want to use. So yeah uh, let me see let me see let me see let me see um, moment yeah i think i'll show you this link and then you'll have everything you need so after that you load your model using detector.load model and then once your model is loaded this is the most crucial part where we want to do our detection. So, I want to spend some time here. So, ideally, our detections in an image are going to be equal to. Remember, we created an instance called detector, and then we say detector. You call this detector dot detect objects from image, and then inside there you should put in these parameters the input image the path to the input image as you can see here I've as I've set it and then we put the output image path this is because this model is going to do an object detection and then it will create a new image with all the objects detected so you should set up a path where it will save and then also you set up the minimum percentage probability. I've said, let me set it to 50. Yeah. 
So I mean, I'm going to 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 to, to first do, let me check what I'll detect first. A moment. So back to my yeah. Now I'm back here. Detect. Let me start with this. As you can see in this image, I mean, let me open it. So these are airplanes, as you can see them. Yeah, one, two, three. So I want to use the yellow to detect these airplanes. So the name is Angels. We come here and then I'll put Angels. Let's JPG put angels. Let's JPG. Then I also run this. Yeah, it will take some time, like a minute or thirty seconds, depending on your computer speed. So after that, I can call the detections, and then to visualize my detection, I use PID Python Imaging Library. And yeah, because this from th this model will create a new image called image view, and then I'll, I visualize this down here to see the detection in the image. And ideally, it has has been able to detect the airplane, 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 airplane. Then it has given us a level of confidence, which is one. 0 0.00 which means it is a hundred percent sure here it is 94 percent sure it is it is well let, let us dive to the most interesting part here is what i call here is an image called inter not because i'm an intermediate fan or whatever but i've just used inter for for, for intersection it is inter dot jpg so I run, yes, I run this again. Let me see. It has been able to detect a lot of objects in this image. Let me give you a look at the image. Here is the image. As you can see, this is a very busy road. There are people, there are cars, there are traffic lights. As they are in the motorcycle, uh, there are a lot of things. So I want to see what this model has been able to detect. So here is our output. So it has been able to detect a bus with a probability of zero point five two. A car, a car, a car, a car, a car. It has been able to detect a person, a person, a person. Person, a motorcycle, a motorcycle, a car, a car, a person, a person, a person, a person, a person. Let me see a car, a car, a car, person, a car. Has it, has it detected some traffic lights? Let me see, let me see, let me see. I think not. Yeah, but ideally, it has tried to detect almost everything in this image. Yeah. So as you can see, we've achieved our object detection within maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, within ten lines of code. So using this library image AI you can do any any object detection you'd like to do so thank you for watching see you in the next video